Uh, relative to uh, this particular message, I, I just got the deal, and Virgilio has just announced now that WebEx is being added to the portfolio. Okay. So now I have an opportunity to kind of go back to the customer. Okay. And so, expand so the concept the is you had a deal. Yeah. Now there's an opportunity to make that deal bigger with WebEx. You want to learn more about WebEx. Absolutely. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to get, uh, I need to reach out to a couple more team members. I need to really figure okay. out what exactly was this announcement and technology wise, what does it mean? So I'll click on the team tab. And what you're seeing come up right now is what we call a mashup widget. So as you know, a mashup is taking a couple of technologies and putting them together and into, into, one, uh, into one widget. What this widget does is it takes the presence information of all the space members that are online now, and it combines them with Google Maps so that you get push pins of C, where Cisco employees are online, and P, where their partners are online. So let's take a look at um, reaching out to this individual. OK. OK. So. Uh, doesn't look like he's Must really be a available. In the UK. Yeah, it, it looks like he's uh, he's not really so the, out there. The visual image kind of tells you whether or not they're they're available. Okay. Yeah, this is what we call presence information, okay. right? So obviously this individual. Maybe more presence information than we'd want to have, right? Yeah, a little bit more, but uh, basically uh, Michael is not available. Let's. Uh, okay. I got one of my partners on this, and I, I see this person's logged in. So this is one of my people. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> Not really available. OK, interesting. So as you can see, the presence information is probably giving us a little bit more absence okay. than presence. So we've got to find somebody, though, that can help us. Yeah, uh, we've got to do this now, because this deal is pretty hot, especially with the WebEx. So what we'll do is we'll go looking through the entire space list. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search. I'm going to search by a Cisco person, because okay. I'd, like I'd like to get it right from uh, the source, either engineering or a salesperson. Okay. And as you can see, the push pins are auto filtering as mm -hmm. I go through this. And I really want to find someone who knows a lot about WebEx. Okay. So there's one person online in Australia right now. So let's go find out who that person is. Ah, right. she looks available. She looks available. So her presence information is on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, at least someone is there to help us. <laughs> so, um, so, th so this is a great example of how we can take all of those you know, emails back and forth, the calls to find out. You just log on to the space and auto filter down to exactly who you need. And as you can tell, we can contact them in several ways. But mm -hmm. as we were talking about this news flash, on the lower right hand corner here, you'll see this discussion notifications. So every space has got a bunch of discussion threads. But this is interesting because as it got updated, mm -hmm. it just popped right in a space to say, hey, you might be interested in this. And it says WebEx Commission. So as a partner, I'm very interested in this. Let's click this. Okay. And we go right to the discussions uh, thread, and we see that one of my colleagues here has already asked this question, what's in it for the partners, right, now that you've made okay. this announcement? And Cindy Tier has uh, actually given us a couple of blurbs. There's uh, this type of a plan. There's that type of a plan. Okay. I, after I read that, I said, I really would like a little bit more information, because this is all about <coughs> Too high level. Want to get Too some high level. Details. So maybe okay. I should send her an email or something and, and, and get a little bit more info on it. So I, so I may not be a web 2.0 kind of guy, but email is so web 1.0, isn't it? Um, email, Good catch. Yeah, Good so. catch. So you, you caught me kind of going back to my old behaviors. So what I really should have done is I really should have just clicked Cindy right here, okay. popped up her instant presence information, because she's online up here. And I could have done a video call with her. Okay. Um, I could have initiated uh, telepresence, because right? this is all integrated now to our UC 7.0 and telepresence platform. But before I could call her, this is a hot question, uh, obviously, this whole how do partners get paid against WebEx. Mm -hmm. She just started a, a yeah, WebEx session that. right now. Yeah. So very can, interesting. Can we join? Yeah, absolutely. Let's join that right now. And there she is. And hey, there Cindy. she is. How you doing? Hi. Hi, Cindy. Good, how are you guys? <laughs> How's it going in New York? I see Michael's on also. This is great. So this really kind of completes the circle okay. relative to partner yep. space, partner yep. exchange, and partner connect. Hey, Cindy, thanks so much for being online. But uh, we have a couple of guests here that we're attending to. So if you don't mind, can I join the meeting later on and get, catch up with the details? Sure, no problem. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks, Cindy. OK, so let me make sure I got it. So we'll kind of go through the sequence again. So initially, um, we have a customer who has an interest in unified communications from Cisco. That customer comes into Partner Locator. Partner Locator sends them to Partner Space. 
And once in partner space, they can look for a partner who has the certifications, what they're yeah, looking for potentially, absolutely. and a partner to work with for this opportunity. And that would be you in this case. That was so me in this case. So they found you in partner space. Yep. And then you identified that potentially you might want to look at an application as part of this, your proposal on this particular need. So you use partner exchange to explore working potentially with other application providers. So that would be partner exchange. And then once you had a, kind of identified the deal, you went into Partner Connect, that community around unified communication opportunities, and then explored different facets of uh, information that would be relevant to you winning that business, getting paid on that business, and being profitable on that business. Absolutely. Okay, that, I got it. That's an excellent recap. And, and the important thing is that that was a Cisco sponsored space. There's nothing that stops our partners from starting their own spaces. Uh, they can create all their deal-based spaces. They can use all the widgets that we've got there. You know, it's free to them to go to use and incorporate. And that's what really starts bringing in the, the whole collaboration technology and completing the circle. So that's, uh, you, you said the word deal. So actually now you've got the deal. This is where you could create a space to, a partner space to work with the Cisco field team on that opportunity, collaborate around that opportunity together. Absolutely. Good stuff. Did we miss anything? No, I think uh, you covered it pretty well. Okay, Great and it worked. Thanks. Thanks, Akbar. Great job.